Today we're going to change the lawnmower blades. It's the first time, so we're going to see how it goes. Check it out. First things first, we're going to tie up the drive shaft so it doesn't fall off when we flip up the deck. And we're going to do it with some regular old baling wire. Just like that. This is two years of mowing in sandy soil. But yesterday I took it to the property and hit some rocks. And then I noticed it wasn't cutting as good on the outside edge here. So I'm thinking it's because it all chipped up here. And I just went right into a little pile of base rock and it nicked it all up. They're pretty dull. I know they're not supposed to be razor sharp so they don't chip away, but it doesn't matter because today I'm just going to put on new ones. These are the blades I got when I got the tractor two years ago. I just had them throwing in a set of blades. And there's the skew with whatever information you need right there. So we're just going to put the new blades on and I'll sharpen the old ones, have them ready for next time. Well, I have a 32 millimeter socket and that's the closest I got. Still has a little play, but that's what I'm going to go with. So another route, use a crescent wrench, that's big enough, and a hammer, this is a three pounder, and pound it this way to loosen her up and that's it so I just took a 2i4 shoved it in the way of the other blade in the middle just took my impact and backed it off and it's counterclockwise looks like there's splines in there let's we'll see how that turns out so the first piece I guess there's a center piece with the splines and I'll just line them up in order so I know how to put it back on and then there's Looks, looks like two washers, okay. Two flat washers, concaved. So we'll put those next in line. And then here's the blade. Huh, the blade doesn't seem to have anything to center it. Oh, it must be that first piece that's long there that probably sits in between that to center the blade. And then before you take this off, Notice the configuration, so it's bend swoop this way, and the new blade, I already have them set up the way I'm going to put them on, so you can see how that it contours like that. That's what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off, the old one, put the new one on in the same configuration with the swooping part up. Since the deck's upside down, you get it. And there's a cutting edge. And then put the two washers on first. And then the splined, I guess spacer. I don't know what the term would be. Oh, these, this seems to be pretty machined pretty tightly there. And then wiggle the blade till the centering piece here, or whatever you want to call that, is centered and you can see that everything's pretty much tight and laid out flat there's no it's not sticking up or anything so you know it's already between the blade you can even take the blade and wiggle it to see if it's got any play so I know that that collar is where it's supposed to be and it doesn't seem to be anything on the bolt and I don't know what to torque it to so I'm just going to make it good and tight. My good and tight. Hopefully I don't snap it. This is my good and tight. Just going to use a crescent wrench. Do it by hand until it's really tight and then I'll probably hit it a couple times with a hammer. Just to make sure it's tight tight. Actually, that looks pretty tight right there. I won't need the hammer. I can feel it. It's tight. That one's replaced. I put a 2x4 against the deck and the blade on this side. I'm going to work my way over and do the other two. 
I guess when I'm done, I'm probably gonna clean this off. All this crap. I got a plastic putty knife so I don't scratch the paint on the deck. And I'll probably use that and pry this stuff off. I'm thinking the plastic won't scratch the paint. Because you know, as soon as you scratch that paint, it's gonna rust. Okay, they're all in. I'm sure I didn't have to do this because I did check these two, the tips of the blade, pretty much went across each other and there's like non-interference. So it probably doesn't matter, but just out of habit, I kind of have them 90 degree. Probably doesn't mean nothing. And I probably should have looked at the manual, but that's how I did it. Well, no, pretty quick once I turned it on. Now I'm gonna take my plastic, like putty knives, scraper thingy and then just scrape all this dirt off i'm not going to get too crazy with it i'm not going to get the pressure washer out I'm just going to scrape off these big chunks and call it good Just so you can see how I flipped the deck, I got my straps, a half inch, a clevis or whatever you want to call this thing, ran it like that, and I got my cardboard here to protect the edge of the strap. And then I got the strap just hooked up to the front anti-scalp wheel. Almost got you. That was a close one. Okay, let's put this deck back on. Make sure your brake's off. Push down with the loader. High enough so the deck can roll under. Roll it in until it hits the back tires. Put your deck position in the zero position. Drop the control arms in your three-point hitch. Let me shut her down. Now that they're down, you can lift them up by hand manually to slide it around and then just roll the deck in into place. Once you got your deck lined up with the control arms, these things can be moved up and down by hand when it's in the down position. So they'll be all the way down and you'll see the hole there. You know you have to go in that hole. So you kind of wiggle the deck and lift up, unloosen the, the roll pin from that slot so that it's loosely in there. When you lift up, it should pop right in if you jiggle it in. And just make sure it's seated all the way because it doesn't have that clip anymore, at least not for me. You can put this is when you can put that clip in there to keep this in the lock position. But I take my deck on and off so much, and I haven't had a problem with leaving it like this. It's your deck and your tractor, so do it the way you want. This is just how I'm doing it. Same goes for the other side. Let's go. So here's the other side. This is in the roll pin position, or slot where the roll pin. Unloosen that. Oh, I got lucky. It just popped right in. It's all the way in, and that's all the way locked. Then you do the front. So you do the front last. We're going to hook up the front bracket, slide it up, unloosen this lever, 
make sure it's in open position, not in that slot. And then push up it until that pin pops in and make sure it's seated all the way. And you're good to go. So what I did is I came in the back and I'm gonna move the collar back. Put it up on the PTO. Spin it by hand until I see it go in a little. And then just give it a little push. The collar pops in. As you can see there, give it a little tug. Now you know that shaft is on. Let's see how we did. Don't want to run this over because you know that's going to happen. All right, now set your deck from zero to whatever height you like to cut your grass. Put her down in that position. And while it's in idle, engage your PTO. Rev it up. Looks like there's no crazy vibrations or anything. So I'd say we're good to go. Mm -hmm.